Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be making a carbureted cigarette and smoking it. Or at least I am going to be attempting to. This is an idea that I've had sitting in my head for just about the last day or two now. And honestly, I'm not sure if it's going to work. I'm not sure if it really is possible to make a good working carbureted cigarette. And so as such, I'm looking forward to finding out just how good or just how bad this experience is going to be. And I'm looking forward to finding out if you can actually make a carbureted cigarette or not. Well, I'm sure you can make a carbureted cigarette, but I do suppose the right way of putting it is I'm looking forward to finding out whether uh, if you do make a carbureted cigarette, whether it works at all. Let me just put it that way. But I do suppose before I go ahead and get one of these cigarettes all out, before I go ahead and make it carbureted, I should probably explain what a carburetor actually is in smoking terms. So what is a carburetor in relation to smoking? Well, it is a hole that you can either cover up or not cover up to get more airflow or less airflow from the tobacco, to put it in the simplest terms. A carburetor can commonly be found on glass pipes, water pipes, and even on cigarettes in the form of lines of perforation. And when you cover up any of the holes found on any of those products, any products which have a carburetor to begin with, you're going to get more smoke and you're going to get a little bit of a rougher smoke and you're going to have a bigger body in general. And when you depress the carburetor, when you when you don't cover it up anymore, it's going to let a lot of the outside air come in and mingle with the smoke, allowing you a... I'd have to say more airy draw as a whole, less smoke in general, and a more airy body as well. A carburetor very much is a way of regulating your smoking experience. And as said, it can actually be found on cigarettes as well in the form of lines of perforation. However, here's my issue with lines of perforation and using them as a carburetor. Lines of perforation generally go all the way around the cigarette filter, and so as such, they're a little bit harder to cover up than not. You can get a little bit of an effect uh, from the smoking experience if you cover up some of the perforation and everything like that kind of thing. You can get a little bit of a thicker smoke, don't get me wrong, but, but it doesn't have a profound effect. Let me just put it that way. And that's what I'm trying to achieve in today's video. I'm trying to get a profound effect from the carburetor on the cigarette I'm going to be smoking in today's video. That's what I'm trying to get. So while yes, some cigarettes that have lines of perforation are, are already carbureted, it doesn't really work very well. So I'm trying to make one that actually works well in today's video. But what cigarette would be best for this use? Well, it would be a cigarette that doesn't have any lines of perforation. And the cigarette that doesn't have any lines of perforation that I have on me today is one of my 24-7 menthol cigarettes. These cigarettes do not have any lines of perforation on them. They do not have any air gaps in them or anything like that kind of thing, which makes them perfect to put a carburetor on. And that should make it perfect as a, I'd have to say, control to see whether a carbureted cigarette should actually work well or not. These should be good for this video. I hope that they are. I do suppose without further ado though, there's only one way to find out, and that is to get one of these cigarettes out. It's to go ahead and make a carburetor on the side of the cigarette, and it is to actually get it all lit up and see whether it works or not. Without further ado though, let's go ahead and get this pack of cigarettes all opened up. Let's go ahead and get one of these cigarettes right here all out, and let's go ahead and get the carburetor all made. Now, how am I going to be making a carburetor on this cigarette? Well, the way I'm going to do it is I'm simply put going to poke a giant hole in the side of the filter that when I cover it up with my thumb is going to hopefully allow no outside air to come in. And when I get rid of my thumb off of it or my finger off of it, it's going to allow a lot of airflow to come in from the outside world and everything like that kind of thing. And so I can control my smoke just a little bit more kind of thing. I am just going to be poking a giant hole in the side of this, and I'm going to be using my CRKT M1, uh, M1601KS uh, today. I'm going to be using this knife today. Let me open it just a little bit uh, again kind of thing. It looked pretty cool opening. Let's go and open it again. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Let's go ahead and make a hole in the side of the cigarette filter. Though I'm thinking probably right about there, right in the middle of the cigarette filter is probably going to be best. I'm going to make sure I don't leave my finger on the other side. Knife safety is important, y'all. You do not want to uh, 
hurt yourself while doing this. And of course, I do not recommend y'all do this at home. This is something that is dangerous, of course. Not only are you smoking a cigarette, you're also using a knife to affect your smoking experience. So do not try this at home kind of thing. Knife safety is important though, y'all. Always remember to uh, make sure you're using your knife safely. Don't cut towards yourself or anything like that kind of thing. And there we go. Now I have a hole on the side of the cigarette filter and I'm thinking that should work a little bit better than not. I'm thinking I'm just gonna poke it through just a little bit more and everything like that kind of thing. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my knife on the ground, just like I, well, I, ju I just now put my knife on the ground. I do suppose the right way of putting it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a test draw without getting this all lit up and everything like that kind of thing. And I'm gonna see if I can feel the air coming through this hole right here as well. And yes, that does indeed have a significant effect. That does have a significant effect. Not quite as significant as I'm wanting though, I will admit. So I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just uh, make just, just a little bit of a bigger kind of hole, just a little bit of a bigger hole, just like this kind of thing. There we go. And I'm gonna try to go like that kind of thing. I gotta make sure I'm careful not to make it big enough where my thumb can't cover up the entire hole though. And I'm just going to go and just continue doing this just a little bit kind of thing. There we go, just like that. And let's see if it has a little bit more of a profound effect now. Yeah, that is now having a profound effect. That is now having a profound effect. So yes, I have now made a carbureted cigarette and a carbureted cigarette that you can actually control the airflow off of. Unlike a cigarette with lines of perforation where it's uh, a little bit harder to control the uh, <laughs> the airflow off of you definitely it's it's definitely a little bit harder than not to cover up all the perforation on lines of perfor on lines of perforation it's definitely a little bit harder cut harder to cover up lines of perforation on cigarettes and everything like that kind of thing to say it properly but now that I know that this is working better than not, I do suppose it's time for me to go ahead and get this cigarette all lit up. And the first way I'm going to try to get this cigarette all lit up is by not covering up the perforation at all. And I want to see if you can still get the cigarette all lit up without covering up the perforation at all kind of thing. If it doesn't get lit up at all kind of thing, then I know I've done a good job making this line of perforation. If it does still get lit up, well, then I haven't done the greatest job in the world, but it is what it is kind of thing. First off, though, I am going to take a little bit of a sip of water. My mouth is a little bit dry right now. And now that I've taken a sip of water, let's go ahead and get my lighter all out of my pocket. And let's go ahead and get this all lit up and see if a carbureted cigarette actually works or not. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. <sighs> okay. So I did get it lit up. I didn't do a super great job kind of thing. If I had the greatest carburetor in the world kind of thing, it wouldn't have even lit up but it did light up. There's still definitely a decent amount of airflow coming through the cigarette, that is for sure, and just taking a hit without covering up the carburetor right here or anything like that kind of thing. It is very, very, very light, airy smoke, that is for sure. Extremely light, airy smoke. Let's go and test the body real quick. Body is extremely light and airy. Body is extremely light and airy, that is for sure. So now let's go ahead and do a little bit of a test with the carburetor all covered up. There we go, I've got it covered up with my thumb just like that. Let's go ahead and give it a go. Let's go ahead and give it a go now. And there we go, that was so much thicker. That smoke was so much thicker, a lot rougher as well kind of thing. And we can tell the immediate difference in body. The body was much thicker. It was a much bigger body kind of thing. I got a lot more airflow going through. Yes, I have indeed made a carbureted cigarette in today's video. And I have made a carbureted cigarette that has a profound, or I have made a carbureted cigarette with a carburetor that actually has a profound effect on the smoking experience. That's pretty cool if I do say so myself. That's pretty cool if I do say so myself. I don't think we're ever gonna see anything like this on a production cigarette, I will admit. This is very much something I'm just making for fun kind of thing. I'm very much just making this for fun and that is quite the loud helicopter that is for sure. What is it? I'm trying to see, where is it, where is it? Where's that helicopter at? Come on, come over my man, come over the tree line. Where are you my man? I'm trying to see what kind of helicopter it is. I can't, 
Oh, there it is. Oh, man, that's lame. It's just a news helicopter. Ah, oh, that's pretty lame. I was hoping for a, for a military helicopter or something like that kind of thing. For some reason, military helicopters would be flying over these days kind of thing, but it is pretty cool stuff. That's just a news helicopter, though. That's kind of lame. But what was I saying? I think I was talking about how... I don't think we're going to see um, carburetors besides lines of perforation on cigarettes in production form anytime soon kind of thing. This is very much just something that I'm doing for fun. I don't think we're going to be seeing uh, carburetors on cigarettes anytime soon or anything like that kind of thing. But this is still pretty cool nonetheless that I ha can have literally complete um, control over my smoking experience by doing this. And let's just go ahead. I'm just going to hold it like this. And so I can get, I can get a half thick smoke and half not thick smoke kind of thing. I can literally smoke this like you would smoke tobacco out of a glass pipe that has a carburetor on it kind of thing. That is so funny if I do say to myself. Now I do suppose one other question I have is, so one of the ways you can use a carburetor is to get stale smoke out of water pipes and and glass pipes and stuff like that kind of thing so you get the airflow and it, so you're not drawing from the smoke itself kind of thing and so you just pull all the rest of the smoke through and everything like that kind of thing so can i take a draw with it covered up and then try to get all of the stale smoke that's left in the cigarette out just really quickly by uncovering it can i do that <sighs> yes indeed you can yes indeed you can you can indeed yeah, I could literally tell a distinct difference in 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 smoke, and I just I just pulled all of the smoke that would have been stale all the way through, kind of thing. Wow. Let's go ahead and do that again, but let's give it a minute. Let's let's give the smoke a moment to kind of sit in there, kind of thing. Well, I do think I got a little bit of stale smoke through definitely not as profound of an effect as you would get if you were smoking tobacco out of a glass pipe or something like that kind of thing but still a little bit of an effect nonetheless and definitely not as profound of an effect as you would have gotten if you had just done it immediately after kind of thing that is for sure just sucking the rest of the smoke through but i do suppose you could call this a way to not waste a single amount of the cigarette to not waste a single amount of the smoke because if you take a hit of a normal cigarette, whether it has a line of perforation or not kind of thing, after you take the hit, there's gonna be some stale smoke escaping through the filter. If you cover up the perforation, uh, if you cover up the perforation, if you cover up the carburetor, while you're smoking, then you uncover it right when you're about to, right when you're about to um, finish off your hit and everything like that kind of thing, you're gonna get all of that smoke. So you're gonna get the most money out of your cigarettes possible. Man, oh man top tricks cigarette companies don't want you to know about right here y'all these are some top tricks cigarette companies don't want you to know about just kidding i don't I, I wouldn't do this in any practical form kind of thing i don't i don't care to lose that small amount of smoke in all honesty but still pretty funny nonetheless and right then i literally for i, I literally had probably half of the carburetor not covered up, just by accident kind of thing. And I was able to get barely any airflow coming through kind of thing. And then I just covered it up just because I realized that I just completely, uh, that I just completely uh, forgot to just cover it up. And all of a sudden I'm getting good smoke. Yes, I have indeed made a carbureted cigarette in today's video. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, I ain't gonna lie. Oh man, certainly no complaints on my behalf. Well, that is neat. That is neat, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Huh, yeah, that's pretty cool. As said, I wouldn't do this in any real terms. I'd much rather just smoke a cigarette how it normally is kind of thing. But being able to control the carburetor off of a cigarette is, is nice, I will admit, it is nice. <clears throat> Excuse me, I am feeling quite buzzed right now as well. I'm feeling pretty buzzed. I don't know if it's just because of the cigarette, I don't know if it's because of the carburetor, I will admit, but feeling pretty good nonetheless i'm feeling pretty good nonetheless certainly no complaints on my behalf that is for sure and let's go and take a hit with uh, let's go and try to take a hit without uh covering up the carburetor at all and since we're so far 
towards the bottom of the cigarette. The carburetor definitely has a lot less of an effect, that is for sure, but still a little bit of an effect nonetheless. I do think, though, I'm going to go and take one more hit, and then after that, I think I'm going to go ahead and um, stub out the cigarette right there. But we can actually see, when looking at the filter there, that the carburetor is having a significant effect on what side the smoke is coming through. We can see there's a lot of air coming through on this side, because this side is almost still white kind of thing, and then this side is almost completely brown kind of thing. We can see it's having a significant effect, and we can see that there is actually air coming through. That is the proof to back up what I'm saying in today's video, y'all. <sighs> Well, there we go. I think that was the last hit. I don't really want any more of this cigarette because I feel like if I have any more, I am going to just be taking a hit of the filter, and that is not what I want. This video is not titled, Taking a Hit of a Cigarette Filter. It's titled, I Made a Carbureted Cigarette and Smoked It. That's what this video is titled. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, this worked really well. This worked surprisingly well, I will admit. I'm glad I, I put in the time to make sure the carburetor worked properly and everything like that kind of thing before getting the cigarette all lit up. Definitely would have been not as great of an experience if I hadn't done that, that is for sure. Um, overall, would I do this again? No. No, no, I wouldn't. It's just it's just too much hassle, and I'd much rather just smoke a cigarette normally. But is it something to do that's kind of funny as a party trick or something like that kind of thing? For sure. Yeah, for sure. If I had a knife or some sort of, like, fork or something like that at a, at a party or something like that kind of thing, like, I go to parties. I don't, I don't really go to parties, in all honesty. What am I talking about? But if I was at a party, theoretically speaking, kind of thing, um, and I wanted to be like, yo, look at this kind of thing, then then I might do that. I'm, I might make a carbureted cigarette again, just to be like, look, I made a carbureted cigarette kind of thing. Look at the difference kind of thing. Good topic of conversation and stuff like that kind of thing. Not a bad experience by any means. Not a bad experience. Just something I wouldn't really want to do again. But it's something that uh, was fun to do nonetheless, and I'm glad that I did it. That is for sure. Um, just, yeah, not something that I want to do again, but definitely something that was fun to do. And uh, hey, if I feel like it, maybe I'll do it again, but probably not in all honesty unless I'm at a party or I'm trying to show off or something like that kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, interesting. Interesting experience, that is for sure. I'm glad to know that the uh, concept of a carbureted cigarette actually works. It actually does work. You can actually make a carbureted cigarette. That's pretty cool if I do say so myself. I think that's pretty much all I had to say, though. Let me know in the comments down below what y'all's opinion on this little experiment is. Um in the comments down below. Let me know what y'all's opinion is on this experiment that I did in today's video in the comments down below kind of thing. Uh, and of course, uh, please make sure to well like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, and my uh, second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. But you know, thank you so much for watching, y'all. To the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.